Like many young people in Hong Kong, Vivian Cheng used to be skeptical about traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM. She changed her mind after discovering that traditional treatments for menstrual pain worked much better than conventional medicine. Then she dropped out of her degree in biomedical science and started studying TCM. Chinese medicine, it is an ancient thing, but it doesn't mean that it's old. It doesn't mean that it's no longer useful, because it's a wisdom and it is a wisdom that we should treasure. So that says Ho Sao Wu, also known as a Chinese combine in English. It's actually uh, a medicine for kidney. It's also related to hair, health of hair, and your knee. From deer's tail and seahorse to ginseng and caterpillar fungus, Chinese medicine practitioners have long employed a range of weird and wonderful natural ingredients to treat everything from impotence to stomach complaints. They believe TCM prevents and cures illnesses by removing blockages in the human body's flow of energy, or qi. Now, as their traditional client base dies off, the big TCM companies are repackaging thousands of years of wisdom to attract younger consumers who demand higher quality, easier to prepare, and better tasting products. In the past, to make this calming remedy for babies, you had to boil up all these ingredients, including these insects, for about an hour. Now, with the new millennial friendly products, you simply take a tea bag and dunk it in water for two minutes. Yu Yan San has been at the forefront of this push. The 138 year old Singaporean company has designed stores and clinics that look more like boots or Walgreens than the Harry Potter-esque Chinese medicine shops of old. I think traditionally our customers over the last 20 odd years would have been um, young mothers uh, and, and generally older folks. But in recent years we see a, an interest from the, if you like, the millennial market. It is time consuming and, you know, nowadays the younger people don't have time to do all this, so it's much easier to pop a capsule. The modern consumer, I think, demands to have a certain quality level, and a paramount, of course, is safety. To meet this need, Yu Yan Sang has upgraded its manufacturing facility in Hong Kong, improving its testing and quality control processes, and making snazzier packaging. But traditional practitioners like Alan Poon worry that the attempt to modernize TCM risks losing its essence of personalization and natural preparation. Mr. Poon is a stickler for tradition using an abacus to calculate invoices and medicinal formulas. He worries that the old ways will die out, but sees hope in the rise of the organic and whole food movements. A growing number of medical experts are trying to use clinical trials to bridge the gap between the ancient wisdom of TCM and the demands of modern science. But Hong Kong professor Justin Wu thinks there will always be limits to the standardization of TCM. He argues that TCM should remain complementary to modern medicine rather than trying to replicate its ways. When we talk about evidence-based medicine, we are talking about randomized controlled trials, placebos, uh, standardized and artificial environment in order to uh, see clearly the real efficacy and safety of drugs. Well, but it is not possible to test Chinese medicine in this manner because of uh, individualized approach and also combination of the herbs. Professor Wu, who works as a gastroenterologist, still meets stiff resistance from other Western trained doctors when he argues that TCM can treat complaints such as stroke and immune disorders better than pharmaceutical drugs. But the challenge for TCM retailers is less about convincing the hardened scientific critics than finding a way to win over sceptical millennials. Ben Bland, Financial Times, Hong Kong.